guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of Run a Girlfriend. Honestly, I was hesitant to watching this because, I, I mean, from what I had heard when we were still on season one, um, that our main protagonist boy, whose name I can't remember, I know it's starts with a K, um, he, apparently he's supposed to get worse. In this show? And I'm like, do I really want to watch this? <laughs> so I was like, you know what, what the fuck? I was like, let's just go ahead and see how season two goes with him and she said who and, <laughs> and everybody else. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. The fact that they start with freaking best girl. Is that one girl gonna? Yeah, of course she is. Because she barely had screen time in season one. Yes, our lovely Aqua.
All right, let's see how Kazu's doing. But you don't want her to cry like uh yeah. mm. Nice hot. <laughs> Oh, God. down
Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Because she's owning that. that run I love Oh my god! <laughs> that was so fucking good!
Damn. Oh, so she obviously was going to get the role regardless. That's fucked up. Ooh, those boots, though. True. And, you know, Chizuru, you could have bumped it to anyone. It just so happened had to be Kazu. <laughs> yeah, but... No, baby, you have talent. All that work and dedication that you did. What well, damn, Kazu? Of course she is. Any girl would be upset if they don't get something.
Mm-hmm. But he gonna keep running her until he is flat out broke. Like, I just want to hug her. Oh my god. I know. Well, he was true to his word. Give a shit. <laughs> I'm already loving it a lot more. Kazu is still being Kazu. Like, Kazu, yeah. <laughs> Kazu, yeah. I don't, e I don't even know what to say about him. I mean, you know, like, at the end of season one, I was, like, proud of the character that he was coming into and such. Now, it, it feels like, like, I'm still a little proud of him, but at the same time, he was like, this fucking dumbass, you want to smack the shit out of him? Like, uh... I do love the fact that this whole episode was focused on Chizuru and Chizuru alone. As much as I wanted to see, like, mommy, I'm okay waiting, like, how many of her weeks I need you to wait. Because, of course, like, literally, the biggest thing is I'm waiting until she gets so upset she goes on, like, a fucking Twitter rant ish. Because, yes, me, you, that's my bitch. Like, yeah, because I've done that too where I have gotten so pissed or I've had like the worst freaking day ever and I'm just like you know what I'm gonna go on Twitter and I'm just gonna lash all, all my feelings because I'm uber pissed and such I, I mean I was expecting the role 
and the casting director to immediately go to season two because she did a really good job. But then finding out that the other girl automatically got the role and everything from him because of the fact is they already knew each other. It is fucked up. It, it's very fucked up. And so that messes with like your mind as someone who did like acting and still does and who was in that like ish and who got scammed um by a, a company and such and I was oh god this was years ago I was in high school and I was supposed to go on a casting and such and in the end this dude who wanted to take me and stuff and my parents and everything he just wanted money and I felt really upset I, I think in, in that way I went into a big behind depression because I was like what the fuck am I supposed to do now? And, and sometimes I do still kind of feel like that because I'm like, bruh, like for my dreams to become a, re a reality, like what am I supposed to do and such, you know, especially at the age, you know, most of us are at and having conversations with your parents and being like, well, oh, at this age, you should be at this, da 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 da, -da. And you're trying to, you know, freaking focus on like multiple different tasks and everything and then things get hard and you you feel like you just can't win. Like, truly, truly just can't win. And it's just about, at the end of the day, no matter what, just don't give up. And that's really what Kazu is telling her, that you did a damn good job. It should have gone to you. And even though today was a loss for you, you still have a chance to have a win and to make your dreams a reality. It is going to take a little more time for her, and that's okay. I mean, she gets to develop her skills once again by continuing her rental girlfriend ish and stuff. Um, I'm ready to also see Ruka. I, I love the fact that Sumi was also, you know, a little bit in this episode today, so I'm guessing Ruka's probably going to show up next week. Um, and ish, same thing with Mommy. But, like, yeah, I thought this was a really good start to season two. It makes me really excited to see how the rest of this season is going to go. Um, how the, like, chemistry and quote-unquote romance is gonna go between Kazu and Chizuru. And if we're going to get, like, one thing is, I'm really hoping, there was one, it was a moment in season one where, you know, when Chizuru got sick and she, um, fell off the boat and Kazu, like, dived into the ocean just to immediately save her. And there's a moment where, like, a really good artistry where you see like okay she's like slowly slowly sinking down to the sea and he's swimming down and how like they took it from like light to immediate darkness and just how they did that with contract and colors and stuff i'm hoping to get another shot like that because that shot was just gorgeous and that is like a picture that i will always show to somebody but like hey you know watch this show strictly for this and such it is funny but you know you might be mad at the main character because of course everybody has been mad at him and such whether it's a guy girl whoever everybody wants to punch kazu in the freaking face but yeah like i said really good first episode to see i mean first start to season two i'm really excited to see how this is gonna go but other than that guys let's react to me towards episode one of season two of rent a girlfriend if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matcher squad and of course i will see you guys officially next friday when i do come home for work for episode two bye guys